Hey, what's up guys? And Rael here in Korea at Ultra. Thank you guys so much for your support. All the DJ Mag fans, all the Asian fans, you guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you. Well, uh, you know, I've played Seoul uh, uh, a couple of times. This is not, this is my either second, either third time. And I was always impressed and surprised by a crowd's energy. People are just really into music here. They're ready to party. They're ready to go really hard. And uh, uh, they know very well the music. I was surprised uh, for that. You know, I, when I came for the first time, I was like, oh, they really know my music. They really know electronic music in general. And they just jump around all the time. I mean, some crowds, you know, in Europe will be, you know, they jump on the drops or whenever they feel like there's a build up, like a big energy. But over here, people just don't care. It's a constant, you know, going crazy, which I, I love. You know, they give me that energy and I give back them the same energy. Well, probably uh, ask people around if everything went well, if the visuals went well, if the sound was good, if in general my set uh, uh, looked well from a side because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very pretentious and I'm very perfectionist and I want to know that you know everything went perfect and the crowd and the fans enjoyed the full experience because obviously for a concert like that is not only about you know and Rael and music there's also visuals there's special effects you know there's the, the vibe in general there's a lot of things behind that people don't see they see you know this beautiful image with with music and everything but there's a lot of details and i usually want to make sure after the set that everything went perfect and if so then i'm happy and i can relax with my friends and watch other artists well, it's, it's very interesting, interesting that uh, I've learned uh, uh, economics. I'm a uh, licensed accountant. So uh, um, I don't want to say that if I was not a musician, I would have done uh, accounting or anything like that because it's very boring. And I know that from my experience because both of my parents are uh, accountants and I saw them through my entire childhood, uh, them just doing numbers on their computers all day from eight in the morning till you know late at night. So I, I felt like I'm, I'm a more artistic person. So probably something artistic, I don't know, painting or dancing, something related to music, not DJing, but maybe just producing, you know, cause I love producing. Well, you know, there, there's a bunch of uh, uh, countries that I haven't experienced and probably Korea is definitely one of them. Every time I came here, uh, I uh, did not stay for a long time, so I haven't seen many things around. Uh, it's pretty much only the Olympic Stadium and that's it because I played here. And uh, probably also Japan is also a country where I played a couple of times, but I've never actually stayed there. So actually tomorrow, we're, we're going to Japan for uh, like four days, uh, just visiting, just normal tourist thing, bring the camera and go around and take pictures of everything. Hey, what's up guys? Andrew Rael here with DJ Meg Asia at Ultra Korea. Uh, congratulations guys. Uh, may you have a wonderful uh, years uh, uh, in, in advance and hopefully we'll see you very soon. And thank you to all the guys, all the fans uh, uh, in Asia. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you for supporting my music and hopefully we'll get to connect more with DJ Mag Asia and everyone else. Thank you. DJ Mag Asia, kata.